Zach, it was an epic at the MCG today, but unfortunately a loss must be a, a tough one to take right now. Yeah, it, initially it's very disappointing. Um, you know, they're, they're a very good team and, and developing team. Um, got a lot of super players individually and obviously pretty well drilled. So, um, yeah, to, to take it up to them was exciting, but also equally disappointing to, to not be able to get the job done. I thought they um, were a bit more polished probably than us um, throughout the whole day. And, um, yeah, it's... It's pretty raw and disappointing at the moment. What was a message from, from the coaches post-game? Have you had much, much time to talk about it or is it just about letting the, the emotions sink in at the moment? Yeah, it's obviously pretty hard to delve into it now uh, immediately post-game. But, um, yeah, I think we, we got back to the way we wanted to play and I thought our, our, uh, our brand was back on show more today than the, the past two weeks has been. So um, that was a big positive to get back to the way we want to play. But, uh, yeah, as I said, it's pretty disappointing still. And, I'm sure there'll be some great learnings out of out of the game, but um, you know we're not here to, to keep waiting and being patient. We also want to take those chances when they present themselves. So um, yeah, pretty disappointing. It was goal for goal in that second half, but the Swans were able to break away in the end. What did you put that down to? Yeah, I think it was just a, some poor turnovers and errors from from us in the day, um, and, and their polish was a bit better than ours. I, I thought at times, in particular that second half, they. Took the most of their opportunities that we probably did, and then um, we probably presented them some some pretty easy opportunities as well. And um, you know, we'll look into it throughout the week, but it's pretty raw at the moment, and um, yeah, it's sort of hard to delve into the game too much. The Swans are flying heading into this one. What, what did you identify as the areas that you needed to get right to, to match it with them today? Yeah, they're a pretty complete team. They've got a pretty good balance of inside outside players, and their offense and defense complements each other as well. So. We felt like if we played it our way and got back to the way we wanted to play and look after ourselves, um, that we compete with them. And um, I thought we did that for large chunks of the game, which was really pleasing. But um, yeah, they were probably a bit more polished at the end than we, we would have liked. On your own game, you're, you look like a man on a mission out there today. Some outstanding numbers. I know it'd be a tough result to take, but personally, where does that game rank for you this season? Uh, oh, when you lose, it doesn't really matter, does it? Um, no, I thought we, we, we came with an attitude. It was obviously a, a weird build-up, um, getting the game pushed back. Uh, and I thought the guys came with a mission to try and try and get the job done. But um, yeah, individually, I, I just played my role really. Um, you know, I'm starting to build some great connection with those guys in there. It was good to get Dill back last week, and I thought he was better again today. Langer's back was awesome as well. So I feel like with those two and, and Das and um, that mix inside with string as well is really exciting and uh, I'm sure we're going to grow it stronger and stronger as we move forward but um, yeah, when you lose it doesn't, doesn't really matter that much individually. You touched on, on the unique preparation yesterday uh, which the Swans had to go through as well but can you talk through that, um, the events of yesterday? Yeah, I mean the, the last 18 months um, you have to be pretty adaptive and, and, and flexible all the time so um, yeah I thought got, the guys handled it really well, it was, it was a, a bit of a curveball for us and for Sydney the umpires all round um, so to get in last night late, um, get a COVID test, get cleared this morning um, and then try and focus on trying to play well um, has its challenges but I thought yeah it was a great experience for those younger players to go through probably the most difficult build up to a game they'll experience in, in their career and um, just to be able to perform reasonably well as a group I thought was pleasing but um, yeah I guess we can we can move forward and hopefully it doesn't happen too many times again moving forward. It's another close loss unfortunately this season but the boys have shown they can bounce back what gives you confidence that that will happen against the dogs next week? Yeah I mean it's going to be a, a great test they're, they're playing some amazing footy they have all year got some super individual players and been together for a, a period of time so um, I think it's just a great opportunity for us. I think throughout the year when we've been presented opportunities to, we've taken them most of the time or been able to take the challenge head on and, um, and to play the doggies at Marvel, I think it's Sunday. Um, gives us a chance to recover, get back home, sort of get a bit more comfortable, I guess, in our own beds and um, get around our family and friends and then relaunching the dogs, which, um, yeah, I mean, we'll look forward to that in the next couple of days. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty keen to, to crack in and have a crack against them. It was a thrilling contest today, but an eerie feeling not having fans at the, uh, the MCG today. What's your message for the fans watching back home? Yeah, I, I hate it, to be honest. Um, you know, I love the Bombers faithful uh, in the stands. It is a bit eerie and it doesn't quite feel normal without the fans there. I think um, you know, the, the moment they can get back, I'm, I'm really excited to, to get the Essendon fans back and um, get them roaring. And hopefully, uh, yeah, it's almost like a 90th player on the ground when, when they are roaring and, and supporting us. And we, we do definitely appreciate that and have missed them the last sort of month or so. So um, yeah, hopefully this week they can come back. Um, really looking forward to getting out there. And yeah, as I said, against the dogs, huge challenge, but um, with our fans, it'll be awesome. 
Well, unlucky today, Zach, but a big end to the season coming up. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. Cheers.